What's up you guys and welcome back to the Wake Dude channel. Devin here and today I want to talk to you about how to make your images pop. Probably mainly for Instagram, different social media platforms, but really for anything through Lightroom. Um, but it should apply to a lot of different cameras, GoPros, whatever you might have. So let's jump into it. We're in Lightroom now. I've already imported my image. This is an image that I shot um, last year when I was in Colorado for a wakeboard contest. But let's get into how to make this image pop. That's what we're really here for. So this image, uh, I'm not gonna mess with the temperature too much over here. Um, but will I, where I will start is just the exposure. As you can tell, it's kind of dark, but we're gonna pull a lot of life out of this just because we did shoot it in raw. So I'm going to bump the exposure up, not too much because that'll just get gross, but I'm going to bump it up a pretty decent amount to about 130. And then I'm actually going to bump the contrast down. So that way you can already see some of the shadows coming out. I'm going to go to about 50. I don't want to go too far. I may change my mind in the end, but we'll start there. I'm just messing with the dynamic range in this area, but for the highlights, I'm going to go pretty far down and this is going to bring a lot of the details out in the sky. As you can see in the clouds right now, they're getting more detailed, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go all the way down to hundred on that. Then shadows, I'm just going to bump up a little bit. We'll go to about 60 on that for now, maybe 62. And then the whites, if you hold down option while you slide it, you can actually see the parts that are going to get blown out in the image. That's always helpful. So I try to go right before you see a white speck. So right there is a little bit of white, but that should be good. And then the blacks, same thing. But since I like my images to be more punchy, so I'm going to actually bring a lot of blacks out. So that's where I'm going to sit on that. And then for clarity, you don't want to mess with this too much because you might think, oh, I really want a really clear image. But if you crank that up, it will actually make it worse in some ways. So I'm not going to do it too much, but we're going to go to about 15. Vibrance, we're going to crank up to about 30. And I'm going to hold the Y, or I'm going to press the Y button. And that will show me, look how much we've already brought to life out of that. that that's pretty incredible. It depends on what you're going to use it for, but I like to shoot raw. That way you've got this kind of power later to... Uh, to play with so in the tone curve I'm gonna set it to just a very slight s I'm gonna pull this side down just a little bit and I'm going to bump this side up just a little bit we're gonna go down to the color the main thing that I like to work with in here is just the saturation you can do a lot of cool stuff but for what I'm doing um, I really want the blue sky to be punchy so I'm going to pull a lot of blue out Let's see if we can make the sun pop out a little bit more. I'm going to crank up the yellows just a little bit, maybe 30 oranges, not too much, maybe 30 as well. And that should be good just to give it a nice warm glow to it. And this is where we're going to do a little bit of sharpening. So it's already sharpened to 25. I'm going to actually crank that up to about 40, not too much, because you're going to start seeing this grain. And then we're going to offset that grain with this luminance right here. The luminance you got to be careful with because if you do it too much it'll start to make your image kind of look fake and like paintbrushy or I don't know how to describe it but just fake and not good looking in my opinion now we're done with this section I for this image I'm not gonna mess with a whole lot of this other stuff down here but what I will mess with is some graduated filters is we're gonna try to draw the viewers eyes right towards the truck and towards the boat and so how we're going to do that is through this graduated filler, I'm going to pull from this bottom corner and make it a little bit darker, not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm also going to blur it just a little bit. So I'm going to take the clarity down and I'm going to take the sharpness down. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side kind of fill in some of those shadows and now that I'm looking at it I'm gonna actually decrease this one a little bit so you'll have to play with it a little bit but that's looking pretty good and then we're gonna add one more to this top right corner but it's not gonna be dark it does have our current settings already preloaded 
I'm just gonna make it pretty big here so we can see what we're doing. Do the clarity a little bit more, maybe up to 10, maybe up to 11, and then the sharpness, same thing, up to about 10 or 11. That way we get a lot of detail coming out of that tree. I'm gonna crank up the temperature here and I'm gonna make that sun hopefully pop since the sun's over there. I'm not gonna do too much, to about 40. And then I'm also gonna crank the exposure back up. So now it just looks like that sun is just glaring onto the truck and to the boat. And you can stretch this out a little bit more too. So boom, there we go. So I would say that looks pretty good. Um, once you are in Instagram, you have a little bit more things that you can change, but the only thing that I might change here is just crank the overall exposure up just a little bit more. There we go. So I think that that image would look pretty strong on an Instagram. I kind of used this small left corner to kind of gauge how it would be on an Instagram post. And I made this whole setting into a preset for you guys. So if you want a similar setting to your images, boom, back to the original. And I'm actually gonna go down to Western Sunset and boom, there it is, one click. So if you want something like that, go ahead and download that preset and the link in the description below. If you do, please do me a favor and make sure to subscribe to my channel. It does help me out a lot. Like this video, comment if you learned something new. I will see you guys in the next video.